Good morning you guys. Happy New Year. And it actually is New Year's Day. In this video you guys, I'm going to talk to you about annealing metal. When you anneal a piece of metal, you're going to take that metal, metal down to its normalized state. What it, the state that it was in before you hardened it and turned it into some type of an object. And that is critical you guys when you're making really hard tools. If you're using tool steel, you, you need to anneal that or take it back to its normalized state while you're working it so that it won't be too hard or won't be brittle or, or overcooked or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys the process I go through and I'm going to take this old uh, handle here off of an adjustable wrench and I'm going to anneal this and then I'm going to hammer it into a knife. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now guys, one of the easiest ways to learn how to do this is keep you a bucket of pure white ashes around. Don't make any difference what kind of wood. Just pure white ashes or I use lime. Just regular old garden lime. And the reason we do this, you guys, is once you get this thing up to its critical state, where it, where it, you know, where it doesn't, a magnet doesn't stick to it anymore, then you'll, we will take that and sink it either in a bucket of ashes, or I just use a, this little old crucible here I made for for a case hardening parts. We'll drop it down in that lime, and we'll let it cool right there in that lime, completely cold. Like I say, you, you can use wood ashes, just plain old wood ashes, or this lime right here. Now this, this, now you all, you definitely, like I say, when you buy like a steel that goes for a, like you're going to make knife, a knife out of, that steel, you guys, has already been annealed. You, you, you can buy it already softened, in other words. It's already ready to work, uh, grind, cut, uh, sand, whatever you want to do to it, so that you can harden it later on. But if you've just got something that you found, like this old handle right here, you don't really know what kind of steel it is. What you want to do is you want to slowly bring it up to critical, you guys. I hope you can see this. Slowly bring it up to critical, just like you're going to temper so that a magnet don't stick to it anymore. See that right there? Alright guys, now different metals, uh, different alloys have diff different critical points. Now, I've taken this right here is a piece of an old saw blade. It has not been normalized yet. You can hear how nice and dingy it is. And uh, what I will do when I go to turn it into a knife, you guys, is normalize it. I used to take old cross-cut saw blades. Old cross-cut saw blades, guys, are extremely hard. You can't cut them with a chisel. You ain't going to saw them or anything else. So what I would do is just break a piece of it off, put it in the forge, normalize it, then it, you could work it just like it was a piece of tin, then turn it right back into its hard state by uh, uh, hardening it in off in oil. Now guys, some blacksmiths will lay that right out there beside of the fire and let it air cool slowly right down beside of the fire, and that works as well. But I have found a better way to do it to take the stresses out of the piece of metal is bury that stuff down in lime and just let it cool completely off in that lime. Okay guys, see that? Right there on the end, see how that'll hang right there? Right there in the center, it won't hang. There's your color right there. Right down in that lime, guys, and just bury it right in there. This is not going to smoke, by the way. I'll simply leave it in that box until it's totally cold. I'll just do something else here at the forge until I get ready to forge this.
See that guys? That right there is a hot clever that I made. Just made to just, just like you saw me do. But it's made the same way. This is made out of carbon steel, you guys. Tempered just right to slice through thick or thin pieces of metal. you guys I'll show you something right here now hear that high pitch ding on that tool I just made this is in its annealed state right here you guys and of course on the railroad track you don't want something hard you want something that's going to give with the pressure that it's going to have to take so now this thing right here actually actually is hard enough to make a decent tool out of you guys. Alright you guys, right there it is in the hammered out, ground out state. And it is still so hard that a file will not cut it. So what we want to do you guys is do the same thing I just did with that other piece of metal. We're going to put it in there until it's critical. We're going to drop it in the lime and just let it completely go back to its normal state then I'll finish it up one day and show you what it looks like but that turned out to be not a bad looking tomahawk folks that thing is after two hours that thing you guys is still hot in there so we're gonna leave it we're just gonna leave it right in there way it'll be totally normalized by the time we get ready. Put that tomahawk in there, so that's going to take another day's work there you go. But that's definitely the way to do it. It'll stay hot longer and it will cool down way slower than if you air cool the thing out here in cold air. Always practice that stuff you guys and uh, see if you can make it to where you can't see where the weld is. And that's got a lot to do with how you scarf it. Anyway you guys, thanks for watching my videos. God bless you. Have yourself a great day and a happy new year.